Welcome everyone and uh, today we are going to uh, discuss about the interview questions on uh, AWS VPC. Uh, AWS VPC or virtual private cloud is a very important topic and uh, um, considering the interview part and this AWS VPC is the ma major area of uh, concentration and also uh, you will be uh, if you if you are a if you are going through this video, you will be able to uh, understand the VPC concepts and also uh, you will be able to answer the interview questions. Okay, question number one. What is VPC? VPC is a virtual private network space within the Amazon cloud that enables you to launch AWS resources. Major advantage of VPC is that it is fully customizable. You can create subnets, set up root tables, configure network gateways, set up network access control lists, choose IP address range, and many more in the virtual private cloud. What are the connectivity options of VPC? VPC pairing, software VPN, software to AWS managed VPN, AWS managed VPN, AWS direct connect, AWS private link. I will repeat VPC pairing, software VPN, software to AWS managed VPN. AWS Managed VPN, AWS Direct Contact, AWS Private Link. These are the connectivity options for VPC. Moving on to the next question. How can we connect VPC to the Internet? We can connect VPC to the Internet through Internet Gateway. Internet Gateway enables the EC2 instances in the VPC to directly access the Internet. Question 4. What are the components of VPC? Subnets, Elastic Network Interfaces, Root Tables, Internet Gateways, Elastic IP Addresses, VPC Endpoints, NAT, VPC Peering. Uh, the components of VPCs are subnets, elastic network interfaces, root tables, internet gateways, elastic IP addresses, VPC endpoints, NAT, NAT, VPC peering. Moving on to the next question. How to monitor network traffic in your VPC? There is a feature called VPC Flow Logs. VPC Flow Logs feature is moni it monitors the network traffic in your VPC. Question 6. How to secure EC2 instances running within the VPC? Like there are through two ways. Amazon EC2 security groups can be used to help secure instances within the VPC. So security groups in a VPC enable you to specify both inbound and outbound network traffic that is allowed to or from each Amazon EC2 instance. Now coming to the uh, second security option. In addition to the security groups, network traffic entering and exiting each subnet can be allowed or denied through network access control lists, that is ACLS. Now comes the question number seven. What are the differences between security groups and network ACLs inside a VPC? So these are the differences. Security group operates at an instance level, but ACL operates at the subnet level. 
hence the security group is it is the first layer of defense and as the network uh, acl operates at the subnet level it is the second layer of defense it is called so security group supports allows rules only however network acl it supports it allows rules as well as it denies rules also security group is stateful that is it return traffic or it automatically allowed regardless of any rules network acl is stateless that is return traffic must be explicitly explicitly allowed by the rules in security group we evaluate all the rules before deciding whether to allow traffic in network acl we process we process rules in number order when deciding whether to allow traffic security group is applies to an instance only if someone specifies the security group when launching the instance or associates with the the security group with that in with the instance like later on network acl automatically apply, applies to all the instances in the sub, subnets it's associ associated with moving on to the next slide what is an internet gateway in vpc Internet Gateway is a horizontally scaled, redundant, and highly available VPC component that allows communication between instances in your VPC and internet. It imposes no availability risks or bandwidth constraints on your network traffic. What is a subnet in VPC? According to the AWS documentation, subnets is a range of IP addresses in your VPC. It is possible to launch the resources of AWS into your desired subnet. For resources that need internet access, you can use a public subnet. For resources that don't need the internet, a private subnet is sufficient. Moving on to the next question, what is VPC peering? VPC peering connection is a network connection between two VPCs that enables you to route traffic between them using private IP addresses. Instances in either VPC can communicate with each other as if they are within the same network. What is the IP range of a default VPC? The default VPC IP range is 172.31.0.0.16 and default subnets use 20 CIDRs within the default VPC CIDR. Next question. Can you create a peering connection to a VPC of different region? No, it is not possible to create a peering connection to a VPC of different region. Question 13. Can you peer with a VPC belonging to another AWS account? Yes, it is possible to peer with a VPC belonging to another AWS account. Question 14. Is it possible to peer two VPCs with matching IP addresses? No, it is not possible to peer two VPCs with matching IP addresses. That means the IP addresses should not be overlapped. Question 15. What is private link? Private link provides at most availability and scalability for AWS customers to access their services maintaining the traffic within the AWS network. It delivers private connections between the VPCs, on-premises applications, securely on Amazon network. Question 16. What is classic link in VPC? If you want to connect Amazon EC2, Classic instances to VPC, you have to use classic link. This work only within the same region and this makes use of private IP addresses. 
you can enable classic link in your vpc account and associate a security group from vpc to ec2 classic instance how many subnets can i create per vpc we can create around 200 subnets per vpc in order to create more we have to submit a case at the support center question 18 what is the difference between stateless and stateful filtering in stateful filtering the point of origination of request is tracked and the reply is sent automatically to the request which is then returned to the computer from where it has been originated in stateless filtering it doesn't matter whether a new request is generated or an automatically reply is sent to a request the filter only seeks the origin or the destination IP address and port. Question 19. Inside a VPC, can you use SSH key pairs created for instances within the Amazon EC2 and vice versa? Yes, we can use SSH key pairs created within the EC2 and you can do the vice versa too. Question 20. Can you use Amazon CloudWatch within the VPC? Yes, we can use CloudWatch within the VPC. Okay, that's the end of the interview questions. These are the important questions that can be asked for the interview. VPC is a very important topic. You can uh, refer these questions. You refer this video for the interviews uh, you are attending. All the best for your interviews. Have a great day. Bye.